What's up guys, in this video I'm going to show you CyanogenMod 12 for the Kindle Fire HD 7 inch. So I didn't even know it existed. Uh, so it came out in about December. Right now uh, they're going through the unofficial build. The same developer that developed CyanogenMod 11. So he is updating it to CyanogenMod 12. So you kind of have to look around to find the website. It's kind of hard. You will not be able to find it by searching on Google. You may have to look around. So I'll have the link in the description. And you will also need the latest version of GAPS for the CyanogenMod 12. And I also have the latest version of Twerp, but I don't think it's necessary uh, to install CyanogenMod 12, but I'll have those three links in the description. So uh, I already made a tutorial on how to put Android 4.4.2, which was CM11, on the Kindle Fire HD 7 inch. The tutorial still applies uh, with exceptional to those two links, the GAPS and the CyanogenMod version 12. So you should be able to follow the instruction and be fine. So let's go with the initial impression and review. I've been using it for a day. Uh, I was initially going to make the video yesterday, but I have been playing around it pretty much all day and I was not able to make the video. So right now you can see it's based off Android 5.0.2. So it's not even the, uh, the 5.0.0, I guess. So it's even, there is more iteration. It's not the initial release of CyanogenMod. So uh, this is the second build, the January 21. Now let's start with my experience with it. It's been amazing for a unofficial build and it's the second version of the build. It's extremely stable. So I pretty much did not have any crashing issues. As you can see scrolling, uh, going through the interface of Android 5.0, there is no problem. Uh, the buttons, the soft buttons, everything works well. One thing I will say, if you are using, uh, if you're using the tablet while it's connected to like a 500 milliamp hour charger, for some reason, the Kindle kind of doesn't do that well. So as you can see, I also overclocked the Kindle, so it's running at 1.5 gigahertz. I never had any overheating issues with the Kindle, and the battery life is decent, so putting it in 1.5 gigahertz didn't really do much. It improved the performance, but there was no uh, side effect. So uh, as you can see, I am going through the interface. It's extremely fast. I really, I like uh, Android 5.0 a lot. I didn't, I really didn't like it as much as I do right now when I uh, tried it out in Best Buy with the Nexus 7. It didn't feel that well, but this feels really smooth. Uh, the multitasking, as you can see, it feels all the animation, even if, if it's not going through the interface as fast as it actually is. It feels fast because of the animation. Uh, there's no problem. Uh, I can go through the Google Play Store. As you can see, it doesn't have any uh, scrolling problem. It works very well. So going through Android 5.0, you can see anything you touch has a nice looking animation and it feels smoother because there is really great looking animation. Uh, if you tap the home button, the back button, or the multitasking button, they have a very cool effect that makes it look very seamless. Uh, every animation is very good and well designed. The best thing I like about 5.0 is probably the notification panel. It's very smooth, uh, it has the brightness control, it has all the control that I want uh, with very fast speed. Another great improvement that you will notice in CyanogenMod is YouTube video playback. Uh, with the Silk web browser on the stock Amazon OS, it's not really able to play HD video. If you use a third party YouTube app, it will play HD video but not as at a higher bit rate as it is right now. So with CyanogenMod, YouTube videos look really sharp. Uh, as you can see, I'm playing, uh, I believe it's a 4K video, but it's downscaled to 720p at this point, and it looks very good. Uh, the colors are vibrant. I never had a problem with the Kindle display, and using CyanogenMod really shows off the display. And uh, one problem I did have, it's kind of almost major, is that it's not able to play Netflix video or Netflix streaming. I'm not sure if it has to do with CyanogenMod or a problem with Android 5.0. Uh, I may have to uninstall and reinstall it to see if it works, but right now I'm not able to use Netflix, which is kind of a downer. Uh, on the other side, gaming is not really that much of a problem. If you're using heavy intensive game, you may have problem uh, limited by the Kindle hardware. 
but if you're playing very uh, low system requirement games you should not have much problem you should be able to play video uh, games uh, as well as it plays on the Amazon OS but uh, it's not very optimized in this uh, OS so you may have frame drops one problem that still persists from CyanogenMod Mod 11 is the hardware decoder crashing. So when I'm playing YouTube video and I pause the video, after a couple seconds the Kindle goes to sleep. After I wake back the Kindle, it's not able to play back the YouTube video. So at that point I would have to reboot the Kindle. And that problem still exists in Cyanogen Mod 12 unfortunately. If you're looking for the most affordable cell phone plan, look at Republic Wireless. You can get unlimited talk, text, and data for $25 a month. They have the new Moto X, the first gen Moto X, the Moto G, and the Moto E. So I do believe they are the best cell phone plan, at least the cheapest one. For $25, you can get unlimited talk, text, and data, and you can't really beat that. So check it out. I'll have my affiliate link in the description. So overall, I have been very pleased with CyanogenMod. Uh, it has improved greatly from the beginning when I tried out CyanogenMod 10. I'm now trying out CyanogenMod 11 and CyanogenMod 12. The Amazon OS that runs, that actually uses the Android 4.0.3 kernel. So I'm able to go back a whole generation of Android OS from Android 4.0 to Android 5.0 and still use the same hardware. That's pretty impressive. Uh, I really recommend trying it out. If you don't like it, you can go back to the Fire OS and that's pretty much all. Thanks for watching. Thank mm -hmm. you.